Welcome back to the Wake Up Property Series of the Waking Up From Work podcast YouTube channel. I'm Dave. And I'm Meg. And last episode was covering the barn and the carriage house of this property. So those are gonna become the recording studio that we're building as a home recording studio on site mm -hmm. and artists living quarters where artists will be able to live here on the property with us and work with me in that way. And today, we're gonna be giving you a, a first looks of the apartment mm -hmm. and the farmhouse. And the apartment is where me and Dave will end up living. Yes. And the farmhouse will end up being an Airbnb or a rental of some sort. As you'll see, the apartment is just kind of a shell of an apartment and the farmhouse is from the 1850s. So it's pretty old and it's got a lot of love that we gotta put back into it. The apartment is a good idea that never happened. Yes. And the farmhouse is a thing that happened that needs ideas. Yeah. 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 I don't think you've said that out loud to me yet. I just thought about it. And that. that was good. <laughs> okay. So if you, yeah, you are, <laughs> sorry. Mm -hmm. If you like what you're seeing, if you're getting value from this, please like, subscribe, share put that notification bell on and keep up with us on there. All right, let's get going. Okay, so now the house. So like if you've been following along with this a little bit, we have the barn, we have the carriage house slash garage, the apartment, and then this is like the mining village tunnel thing. And then this is the house. So it's kind of like all separated in a way. So this is the old farmhouse. So we come into this nice mustard color. Uh, laundry room. It's going to continue to be a laundry room, but we're obviously going to try to spruce it up a lot and probably move. Meg was talking about moving some of this stuff right here just to be a little bit more efficient. Um, we do have the water lines we found. These are the water lines running to the apartment instead of running them in the crawl space underneath, which can be done. It's just really hard. Then we took the easy way and put them up through through here, so we're probably going to move those water lines to look a little bit better. Closed in through season porch type of deal. Um, it's kind of insulated a little bit, but a little cool out here. So, once again, a lot of cosmetic stuff that we want to do. Maybe change out uh, these windows at some point. Nice out here, it's just beating up. That's that door to the house again, which is skeleton key only right now. Yeah, most doors are skeleton key only, actually. There's only one door that has a real. So this leads into the dining room. This is the piece of a light, like a fluorescent light. So I don't know if someone was like a janitor or like worked somewhere where they got a piece for that, but they use this piece to fill this oddly shaped window. Instead of uh, figuring out a window. B. Oh, there's a conch shell. Oh, really? Yeah, look at that. Nice, maybe we can blow that and like summon Mm-hmm. Summon the oil guy to get heat back here. Yeah, actually we need to summon the oil guy with the cell phone that we're videotaping on like right now. So this is the kitchen. Um, obviously needs a lot of updating. We're still super, super on the edge of like what we want to do with this old, um, this old stove here. This is like something that you really can't get. It's a wood burning stove. You can cook in honestly probably real big portion of this house with, so. Oh, I need to point this out. This masonry. This black brick. Is probably the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. So, it's... that either needs to go or be painted. We don't know this either. I think there was still wood in here. Oh, 100%. Holy cow, I almost I... put my head into something foul. Oh. It's not picking that up on here. Real close. Oh, you can't even see how bad That's that is. thick. Oh, that is thick with two C's, maybe yeah. even three. Wow. I can do my podcast downstairs, I guess. So people know that you're down there. It's literally just to know that the left, you left the light on. Sharpen some pencils. Oh yeah, there. we got the old school pencil sharpener. Going down here is limbo. Oh, so I hate you this. So need to like do the limbo. Holy cow. Oh, Jesus. You can straight up do the limbo, or I've seen bigger people like do like, they switch it, turn it to a ladder. But that's how you get down here. Okay. I absolutely hate being down here, and I spent most of the morning down here already. I, I'm like going So I'm fairly there. over this, but um. I'm starting to dig it. So I mean, crawl space is a crawl space, but this is better than our older 
Milford home. I can stand in here a lot better and it's like a lot less wet, which is cool. Um, there's a lot of old stuff down here too. Please don't mess with too much. What is this? Look. Rooster? It's There's probably a thing to hold eggs. Oh, uh, you think so? They had chickens, too. They did have? Oh. Yeah, they had chickens, they had pigs, and they had cows. I didn't know that. I knew cows. Creepy dungeon. Rock wall foundation. They've actually sprayed insulation, which is more than our old place. So this house, honestly, like for the age of this house, like keeps its heat pretty damn good. I'm really pumped up on that. I thought we were going to come into something that was like way colder right away um because we don't have oil yet but it ain't too bad out here this maybe you guys can help me with i don't know if this is for like beekeeping or if this is for like apples or something like we know that they had a farm here but we don't know what this is i don't know why i definitely don't know why it's down here and then this is actually a way to a bulkhead can't really see it. it's pretty damn dark it's a bulkhead to get out of here um but we think that's jammed up right now Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god, it's like all down your back. Really? Yeah, like to your feet, like from your butt to your feet. Really? Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What is oh my god? Oh, oh my, my god. god. It's all over. Uh the whole back of your arm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. This was clutch. This is oh, what Meg yeah. found. I refused to go in the basement the first time we were here for the inspection and uh, the inspector could not find the septic tank that when he came to inspect the house and they were downstairs talking about something in the basement for I don't even know how long and I found this little note that is directions to the septic tank so we were able to at the last minute get the inspector to inspect the septic tank before he took off and it was just hanging on this little bent up nail right there on half an index card. And I just love reading old notes and houses and old houses because you never know what's written on them. And it just goes to show you that uh, it's worth it. It's worth it. Beautiful old built-ins, especially this one. I love this one in the dining room. Yeah. We're gonna keep all these and just this is the original like tin ceiling is it copper or copper i'm not sure i mean you can see it there yeah. it's probably copper but um it's clearly painted in lead paint because it's all chipping off or we're assuming it's lead but we want to salvage this some way so if anyone has any suggestions on how to salvage this because we can't just paint over it the way that it is with how many chips. Because it's just going to look bad and keep chipping off. But this is definitely something we want to try and keep. Somehow. But this is that door to the front porch. This is pink bathroom. Mm-hmm. Pink bathroom's great. Someone, if you're out there, whoever decided to put toilet next to shower next to vanity, with F this you. spot right here available. Um, F you. That was a, a wonderful design choice, and we are very happy this that you so made low. it. Oh, <laughs> why? This is so you can trap door some uh, TP right there. No, that's cool. Wow. You can put some liquor in there or something. Mm. Or a pistol. That'd be perfect for like a shootout. That's terrifying. Cool. Pink bathroom, folks. Pink bathroom. This is the best bathroom in the house, I want to point out. And then this is. This is gonna be a bedroom. This is a bedroom. Got two doors. We'll seal off this one over here. This is gonna be like where we're living until we can get that apartment finished. This will be. This will be our bedroom. It's actually way better than Tennessee. Yes. Yes. Because there's a floor. Yes. This is where we get to the real pretty bits. Yeah, the wood. I mean, yeah, that's a, a hot mess up there. Living room. Which is 
surprisingly very large. Two fireplaces, this one's sealed up with some insulation. I think we're gonna leave that sealed up just for heat because it's a, a legit fireplace where you burn right up in there. Uh, this used to be one of those other, those two heirloom stoves. And I think we're at the decision that we want to take this out of here. Mm -hmm. uh, just because this is probably going to be a rental mostly, so we don't want to give too much opportunity for some issues to pop up. Oh, I didn't notice these little bird decals on the window. What do you think? Keep or leave? They're stickers. Oh, are they? Yeah. Keep? No. All the outlets are in the ground pretty much, which is mm. nice. Pretty much everything's too prom. Yeah, this isn't the pink room. This isn't pink, um, but it's definitely worse. When we bought it, this uh, ooh, this was the the faucet handle for the shower. Yep. Uh, it was just these pliers. It's nice to see that as a handle again. Uh huh. So now we have a handle. Like knife wrench, <laughs> faucet handle, faucet, faucet plier. Pliers. <laughs> Clearly, everything in here is just gonna stay the same. I mean. Right. I don't mess with a good thing. Yeah, I mean, why fix what's why not have urine where you stand yeah and I mean, keep it there yeah you know I, I don't know if you've noticed but there really isn't much <laughs> carpet in the house but like the one room i want carpet in is the bathroom it's going green yeah it's efficiency if you know what i mean i guess so going yellow yeah okay enough to add stretch. yeah i'm sorry We do have electricity. Yes. And we now have running water. Mm. And then for this creosote. That's the only closet in here, which is great. Yeah, so obviously we have to fix that. We're going to build the closet somewhere. And essentially all of these rooms. What is this? We can see one, two, three, four layers yeah. of wallpaper. Yep. So, um, Four Hopefully layers. it just keeps peeling itself for me. Because uh, be we painting. We painting this. Oh yeah. So then this is the end of the house. Like this, this, That's this where we're seal. at for. Ooh, sealed off. And that'll be the apartment. Mm -hmm. Yep. So little kitchen. Um rough around the edges, but doing it. It's a nice pen peninsula. Definitely want to extend the counters out so you can actually sit and eat here because there's not room for a dining room per se. Right. Um, but then it's this really nice, lofted, open concept living room kitchen area. Right. That um, they've actually done up quite nice. They just didn't finish it. Yeah. And I'm not sure if it you can see it, it's a, a half part of a chimney. Yep. So we're gonna continue that and put in a wood stove. I, yeah. Why? Why, I don't know. Why? But we have a lot of beans. This is just kind of like a little walk-in landing pad. Yep. Like a little office or reading nook somewhere up here, but just kind of like a, I don't know. Gaming nook. Yeah, little nook. Or you can oversee our pavement. It's probably just gonna be now. Fallout 4 nook. The infamous cats. Oh. From, I don't know what that joke was. I don't and it's not really, it's a bad joke. And some um, interesting little salty thing. Yep. But oh. it's, it's just wallpaper. But it's just, you know, it's no longer active. And there's a lot of. Um, non-active leaks. Non-active leaks that have some water damage, but we've been assured that they're dry, so it's not. The problem has been resolved, it's just the cosmetic fixes haven't been done. Yep. This will be our bathroom for the apartment, because this is part of the farmhouse, but as you're about to see, this bedroom layout doesn't isn't cohesive for using these two rooms that we're gonna transform as to part of the apartment. Because the apartment doesn't have a bathroom or a bedroom. It's just the living room and the kitchen at this point. So this will be our bathroom. 
laundry room situation. No idea where I'm putting anything yet, but this would be that. Yep. And then this room will be our bedroom. Our bedroom and this wall will be sealed off. Yep. So this will be the end of the apartment, and then this is the end of the house. Creepy ghost lamp mirror thing. Uh huh. That I thought was gonna summon something. Uh huh. Wonderful, like deep crack. I don't know if you can. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah, it moves. Oh, okay. We never did that. Yeah. Okay. What about? Have you ever wanted your desk to also have HVAC run through it? Well, I have. So that was part of our dream house was to have HVAC run through a desk, like. Have you ever in your life seen HVAC run through a desk? I haven't. I haven't seen that. So that's the HVAC. Yep. So a lot of older houses were being told, and I have seen this actually a lot more. A lot of older houses uh, use cardboard for whatever reason. I don't know for like money or for ease or something like that as like their wall to keep insulation in. And with a lot of these houses that have, like right here being the roof, to get insulation in there, they have to do blown insulation. So in here, you know, this is all cardboard. This is legit cardboard that somehow they nailed up. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this whole video. I know that they're a little bit longer. We do that so that we can share all the details of what we're doing, but thank you for reaching the end and taking your time to keep up with us on this adventure that we're up to here. So this is going to be the last tour video. So the next ones coming up are going to be more project based and you can actually see like what we're doing and it hopefully will be a little bit more interesting than us just walking around pointing at things. Making bad jokes. Making bad jokes. That will not stop. Sorry. Sadly. Not. Sorry. <laughs> 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 so next video out is going to be the move-in process coming in here because we had a bunch of stuff back from Tennessee from her mm -hmm. and a bunch of stuff crammed from a house into a single bedroom of a house for a year from me getting back into a house like Inception or something like that. This video is the move-in process getting in here and then doing a deep clean on this place because anyone out there, if you're buying like a fixer upper like we did, or you're getting something that needs a little bit of love, most likely some of the value that you got from buying that comes from it being kind of Disgusting. gritty and awful and Disgusting. gross. We're going to show you that on the next video. If you want to keep up with these, they're every other Friday night mm -hmm. that they come out. And if you want to keep up with us, please like, subscribe, share, hit that notifications, and you can keep up with us here. And if you wanna leave a comment down below as to what you think the weirdest, quirkiest thing was about the tour, even if it's Dave's terrible jokes. There's a lot. There's of a lot both. of them. So maybe leave a comment of both, what you think his worst joke was, <laughs> oh, and what you think the weirdest part of this house is. Oh, okay. I'm ready for it. Yeah. I also accept you. This guy wants you to go work on stuff and do cool things. Lord Harry, king of the short leg clan. They had two uh, fairly heirloom. Family. Family. Not fairly, family. Family, fairly odd parents. Yeah. Cool. What is this? Cool. Cool. <laughs>